You guys, Morgan Wallen could go to prison. And I don't know if you're aware of that. But, jeez, I'm just so glad that my drunk escapades are not being plastered on every single news media outlet everywhere, on socials and everything, because... <laughs> It's some doozies. Tac TV presents Go to Bed with Johnny. And here he is, that beautiful piece of man. That is Johnny Thomas Appleseed. Yes. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Go to Bed with Johnny. That's me, Johnny Thomas Appleseed, and I've got lots of news for you today, so we don't really have a lot of time to dilly the dally. We're going to jump into it. I know you beautiful people are here for one reason and one reason only, to see me, but also to get your news updates. So let's just do it so you don't have to wait, you know, and think about all of the things you would do to me if you were in, in a room with me. Um, so we're going to start today's show like we start every show and jump right into broken news. First up in broken news, we have Margot Robbie, Barbie herself. Yes, oh my goodness. Okay, so Margot Robbie is jumping on to another movie that is sure to be a hit because it's bringing some nostalgia. Uh, yes, she has jumped on to Monopoly. Oh my gosh, a Monopoly movie just following the success of Barbie. Okay, well, I'm intrigued to see what happens. Uh, and I'm, I'm excited to see how this movie plays out, you know? Is she, is she in the movie or just producing it? I gotta know. I need answers. What's going on? Who's playing the Monopoly man, okay? Who's got a mustache like that? Because, because oh, I could do it. I'll be, I'll play the role. I'll do it. Also in the news, we have Morgan Wallen. Yes, I teased you a little bit there in the, in the cold open, but uh, get this, you guys. Country artist Morgan Wallen was arrested and charged with three counts of reckless endangerment, which are Class E felonies, and disorderly conduct, a misdemeanor. Oh my goodness, the felony charges could carry one to two years in prison per count as well as probation. Nashville-based criminal defense attorney and legal expert David Rabin says that while Wallen could technically face up to six years in prison because of the three counts, the chances of him being sentenced to the maximum and serving all of those sentences consecutively are very remote. Sentences can be served consecutively, meaning one after the other, or concurrently, meaning at the same time. Morgan Wallen's issues with alcohol have, again, come to the forefront with this latest arrest. Though the country star wasn't expected at Eric Church's newly opened Chiefs on Sunday night, Wallen, who's 30 years old, quickly made himself known shortly after he arrived at the bar. Allegedly, he threw a chair from the six-story high Nashville rooftop on April 7th. The chair landed next to a police cruiser on Broadway, and the officers soon headed into the venue to apprehend the culprit. Uh, a source says Morgan is generally a nice, fun person to hang out with, but when he gets going, he doesn't know when to stop. Morgan and alcohol is a problem, and it's been a problem that keeps coming back around. <gasps> oh no. Morgan... <sighs> Last night, he let the liquor throw a chair off the rooftop bar at police officers. Yeah. Morgan, we can't be throwing things, especially right at the police officers. That's a quick way to get arrested, okay? You could have really hurt someone, Morgan. Yeah. Why do we got to throw things when we're intoxicated? Why can't we just throw our hands up in the air sometimes? Saying ayo, you know, instead of letting go of the chair down six stories. Because that's dangerous, and we don't like that. <laughs> also in the news, we have Grace Kelly, who is the daughter of country star Winona Judd. Yes, Grace was arrested and booked into an Alabama jail on Friday after she allegedly exposed herself on a busy highway. <gasps> 
Sounds like a Tuesday to me. <laughs> Kelly reportedly exposed her breasts and lower body at a busy intersection on Interstate 65 and Highway 14 in Millbrook. And then wouldn't identify herself when officers tried to arrest her, according to charging documents obtained. Uh, so apparently she reportedly sat down on the road and wouldn't comply with the police. This is crazy. This is so not ladylike. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, what are these, what are these country folk doing out there? Throwing chairs and exposing themselves on highways. <laughs> Grace, you can't do that out there, okay? It's frowned upon. It is. It's, we can't do it, you know? It'd be like me just flashing my boobs. No one wants to see that. Though I have pectorals. So they're my chesticles, and I've got abs of steel. Yeah. Also in the news, we have Noah Cyrus. Yes, who is getting a little messy. Uh, amidst all of this drama that's going on in her family. So get this. Noah Cyrus just liked her ex-brother-in-law Liam Hemsworth's new gym selfie, adding fuel to the fire of the Cyrus family feud that started following the 2022 split of Noah and Miley Cyrus's parents, Billy Ray Cyrus and Tish Cyrus. <gasps> Why, why are we so messy? Why can't we all get along, okay? Your sisters. Ugh, I hate the beef. I really do. You know, unless it's what's for dinner. Then I'll eat it. And honestly, I kind of like celeb beef. That's why I have this whole show. I like talking about their beef and problems, you know? It makes our problems seem just a little bit smaller. So... Keep it messy, Noah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, instead of stay classy, stay messy, Cyrus fam. I'm, I'm here for it. <laughs> well, guys, that's all of the broken news I got for you, but don't go anywhere because it's time for our next segment, which we like to call Hyper Headlines. We are really just flying through this news here. I mean, geez, we are quick, okay? Quick when going to bed with Johnny. No, I... Um, that's not what... <laughs> Get your head out of the gutter. Okay. <laughs> Hyper headlines. Where the news is hyper, but so am I. So let's jump into it, shall we? Do you remember how I talked about the cicadas that are coming? Yeah, those nasty, creepy, crawling bugs. Okay, get this. Apparently, trillions of cicadas will emerge across several U.S. states this spring in an event one expert dubbed Cicada Geddon. Okay, not only are more cicadas than usual expected this year, but some of them will be zombie cicadas that are infected by a sexually transmitted fungus that makes them hypersexual. <gasps> oh my god. That's crazy. What is, what's wrong with these bugs? As if they weren't creepy, crawly, nasty enough, now they're just trying to... trying to... Get busy with each other all over the place because of a fungus? Oh my gosh, that is not a fun guy. Okay, that is nasty. What kind of STD does... I didn't know cicadas and other bugs could get STDs, but here we are. 2024, getting weird, okay? Things are, things are weird. You know, we had that eclipse, and now all of a sudden the cicadas have STDs. And I am... Freaking me out. I don't like it. I don't like it at all, okay? Also in the news, we have a teacher that is facing possible termination for taking some sick days. <gasps> oh no. Get this. A teacher is facing termination after she allegedly took two sick days from work to attend an out-of-state concert. Eileen Washburn reportedly refused to answer questions about her whereabouts or specifics on her alleged need for sick time during a pre-disciplinary hearing. She is currently on unpaid leave from Lakota West, where she has been teaching since 2015. Oh, come on. Okay, so if we're gonna fire every single person that called in sick to work, and they weren't actually sick, then we're all losing our jobs, right? Right? You've done it. I know you have. Same with going to school. 
Sometimes you just don't want to go that day or you got other things planned or other things that you want to do. And that's fine. We are allowed that. I mean, geez, what? I don't understand. Uh, just get off her jock. Let her do a thing, okay? Sometimes you got to go see a concert. You got to have a mental health day. Maybe she was feeling mentally unhealthy and she needed to do something for herself to get her out of a rut so she could do her job better moving forward, okay? We can't be terminating her just because of that. Jeez, and when you say terminate them, that sounds very violent, but, uh, it's just being fired. <laughs> Anywho, what do you think about that? I don't like it. I think that's, that's ridiculous. And maybe they should be fired, okay? The people that want to fire her. Yeah. Well, guys, that's all the news I got for you today. I'm sorry it was a bit shorter of an episode, but there's not too much crazy stuff happening in the world right now, other than, you know, the cicadas being hypersexual and, and the, the moon and the sun doing weird things out there and people going crazy and throwing things off of rooftops. <sighs> yeah. But anywho, that's besides the point. I think it's time you and I lay down and have a little pillow talk, shall we? Let's go. Come on. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, Oliver. Trevor. And Lucifer. My three best pals. Yeah, we're pals. Yeah. We're best friends that anyone could have. That's us. Yep. Oh, man. You know, I just like talking to you guys. So I feel like Pillow Talk should be a little bit longer. You know, maybe we could do a little ASMR. Welcome to Go to Bed with Johnny. Uh, this is my show. And we do a lot of things here. Okay, and I can guarantee I will never throw a chair at you off of a six-story building. I can promise you that, because I'm not a violent person. I'm a lover. Unless you're Kanye West, then I hate your guts. Okay, and that Jimmy Kimmel, I can't stand him. I would throw a chair at him off of a six-story building. I'll tell you that much, so don't be coming at me, Kimmel. Okay, are we done with the whispering yet? Or do you guys like it? Some of you weirdos really like whispering. I don't know why. But it feels kind of weird. Can you even hear me? Yeah, I think you can. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, I do like this. What other things do you do for ASMR? Yeah. whisper like that anymore. It's just too much for me. <sighs> but anywho, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave your comments down below, and follow me on all social media. News with Johnny. Go to bed with Johnny. And I will see you guys next time with a whole bunch of brand new news. Okay? I love you all. Take it easy, and I'll see you then. Okay, good night, everybody. Good night. Goodbye. Yeah. That's the crowd screaming for us. Oh my gosh.
all of a Joshua pass it out. You're my favorite dog. That's what they say to you. Yeah. Why'd we start doing ASMR? Really had nothing to do with any of the news. Hmm. But I hear it's very calming. So, that's good for us. We should be calm. You know, stay calm and carry a big stick. What's that saying? I don't know. I don't know either. Hmm. I need to go to bed. I'm getting a little loopy. <laughs> yeah, it's past our bedtime for sure. Hmm. Go to bed with Johnny. Dak Buster. Malibu, Malibu Nights. Will you talk dirty to me? Different unique takes on movies and TV shows. A word, because every episode is a drinking game built in. Always. Uh. Is this the it puts the lotion on? <laughs> also in the news, we've got it's not a beauty bear. That is someone. Ah, the Red Bull enhances the drunkness. Uh huh?